Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise and Care, and welcome to our Thursday night rock and pour collaboration. Tonight's topic is swiping. So I'll be kicking it off in a minute. I'll be followed by Lori Houston Art at 645. You'll find her link in my description. After her, we have Amber's Awfully Awesome Art at 7. And then finishing up this night is Angela Bliss Art at 715. So without any further ado, let's get you down on the canvas and let's show you guys what we have cooked up for you tonight. So this is the final resin results of tonight's beach swipe. And I had to think long and hard because I did this on a prior collaboration, video 195 on 11 by 14. But this turned out so well and I've actually had several sales I wanted to share this tonight. So here is a 14 by 14 inch canvas, already sold. Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise Mickey Art. And I'm back today for another beach swipe. This is on request on a 14 inch canvas. So that's what I've got here, 14 inch round. Got my colors over here. Here's an example of the consistency. Hope you can see that. And I'm gonna play around with this. I've got my palette knife. I'm gonna use my biggin again. And the idea is we're gonna do this swipey, swipey, swipe. Stretch it out, spin it out. Hopefully have a very beautiful piece when we're all done here. So let me get going here. I'll call out the colors as we go. I'll also list everything in the description below. So let's just get started here. So this one is a little gonna be different than the oval that I did because this is obviously a round. So once again, this is new territory. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. I'm gonna be a little conservative on the paint to begin with, and then we'll adjust as we go. Because the tendency is to always put a little too much down. And I don't want to put too much down, I want to put enough down to make something really cool. Get a little more up here. Not exactly a <laughs> decent shape here. <laughs> We're not getting extra points for the pretty pillow. We're getting extra points for the final composition. Okay, so there's about the middle. So I'm gonna start just off center with the sky portion. So oh, sorry about the shadow. What can I do about that? Let's move it over here a little bit. I'm in a new location, so trying to get my feel for everything. Mm, looks like I'm gonna have shadow no matter what. So this is my anthraquinone blue, affectionately called anthrax blue. And this is just a pretty, pretty color. And I think it, I don't think it gets enough credit. Maybe I should just pour. I'm one of these people I love to use the stick. So as we go through this, I'm going to pick up the pace. Obviously, I'm more than double time here. I'm adding the colors and I will list the colors as we go. And yeah, that's about it. I'm going to put on some music and just let you have fun watching the creation. So now that I've got the sky and the water done, at least down, I'm adding some of the prism pour because I want to add some accent to the sky and also to the water and eventually to the sand, which I'm going to start working on the sand right now by starting with the bronze 
and then following up with the Van Dyke Brown. So here I'm getting a feel for the paint, just stretching out a little bit, limbering it up before the final swipe. Okay, now cell activator. So this is my turquoise, turquoise blue by Amsterdam with some oxide black in it. That's my consistency. And then I have my white. Titanium white, and that's a fresh batch. Actually, both of these are pretty fresh batches. All right, so let's get this thing going. If interested, my short cell activator creation video is linked above too. Let's give this a stretch. A little better at that. All right, let's add some of the white. That's probably enough. Wish me luck. Seems like I got a lot of cell activator on there. Go big or go home. Whoa, okay. Give it a moment. Sure hope my sand's gonna show up. So again, doing a little calisthenics with the paint, just drenching it out and limbering it up before I get ready to spin it out. Time for a gentle spin. So my first spin is very slow just to see how the paint's going to start moving around. So again, I'm picking up the pace. I'm just spreading out the pillow and uh, trying to cover the sides and stretch it out across the top so that when I get ready to spin some more, it's going to have a good place to flow to. Let this thing stretch. Come on, stretch out, baby. Need the sky to stretch. I 
think I want to leave some of that bottom part. I don't want to lose all that white. It's kind of interesting. Not centered. I'm not level. Oi, oi, oi. Caddy Wampus. There we go. So close. So I will pick up the pace through the spinning. I spin a lot back and forth, just getting that composition to spread the way I want it to. I do point out, though, that now my hands are fully wet with paint. I have to be very careful to clean my hands so I don't drip on top of the composition. Let's take a look. Oh, this is really nice. Make sure my hands are clean. I do not want to drip in this thing because this thing's looking really good. Get some white spots out. Okay, the depth feels good. There's not a whole lot of paint on here. So funny. This past week, I had my uh, my niece over and her family, and we did some tiles together, some coasters that I will actually be videoing. I'll show the video, and it was so funny that when they get done blowing, they actually were lightheaded. And how many times has that happened to me? I told them how I could relate to that. As I'm sitting here holding my breath as I'm dunking. I think this one looks really cool. And she wanted big cells, so she's got some nice big cells up top. Big bad ones, big bad blue cells. Let's pop this bubble. We got an air bubble right here. Okay, I'm gonna take a break right here. I'll be back in a second. So in the interim, I ended up spinning it a little bit more to get the white off the bottom, and this is the final resin piece in the end. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give a thumbs up, like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, hit the bell, and you get all my latest art tutorials. Thanks for coming, and hopefully we'll see you again next week. Take care, everybody. And now, let's get over to Lori Houston Art's channel.